All right, I've got a quick video for you guys today. I'm going to show you how to set up Spaghetti Kart, uh, a.k.a. Mario Kart 64 PC port. We're going to do this step by step. Should be nice and easy. And uh, if the video is helpful, uh, be sure to leave a like. So the first thing you're going to need is the actual download for uh, the PC port. And you are go also going to need a Mario Kart 64 uh, ROM. And you may have to convert it into a different format. And we'll get into that a little further in the video. Uh, I'll be doing this on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. You can see it's up here. Go ahead and open that up and we'll uh, extract this in its current location. Uh, and then once it's extracted, it should open the folder automatically. If not, you can just click on the folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. Bring it over here. Paste. There we go. And then the next step will be uh, the ROM. Now, it will need to be in a specific format. Uh, normally, N64 ROMs are in .N64 format. But I will go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So we want to convert dot n64 or maybe a, I mean, I've never seen dot b64. Uh, I've never dealt with that personally, but my ROM is a dot n64 and we're going to switch it to a dot z64. It's pretty simple. You just um, go ahead and click here. You're going to want to open the file in my particular uh, situation I have it in my documents folder just give me a moment to find it here emulator stuff n64 Mario Kart 64 we'll go ahead and open that now we have a fresh file here I'm gonna go, go ahead and cut that I'm going to Put it in this folder here. All right. I already have this all downloaded and set it up. Um, so when when I first start this up, the uh, the audio is going to be pretty loud. So we'll have to go into the settings and uh, change some things. But you'll see once we get there. So basically, it's pretty simple. You just Click on the EXE. It's gonna add, it's gonna warn you that this is potentially a risky uh, app, but in fact it isn't. I'm gonna go ahead and run anyway. No O2R file found. Generate one. Yes. And then it's gonna ask you where's your ROM at. If it's in .N64 format, it's not gonna show up in this folder. That's why we went ahead and converted it to .Z64 or Z64 depending on how you pronounce that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and click on this and it's going to do some stuff. The extraction process will now begin. This may take a few minutes. The compiler is compiling. Uh, like it said, this will take a minute. I've always found it to be pretty quick. And then it'll instantaneously start up go ahead and full screen this and you can go here first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring this way down because the game is pretty loud um might even bring it down a little bit more just for the purposes of the video. 
Anywho, this is where you can mess around with some of the settings, like graphics. Um, I have mine set to my monitor, which is uh, 1440p. Uh, one of the first things I want to do is toggle this to full screen. That'll actually put it in the correct resolution here. And then uh, I like to match refresh rate because my monitor is 180 hertz. So it's going to set that to 180 hertz. Um, and then other than that, I don't really mess with too much. You can bring the anti-aliasing up. That'll, you know, maybe crisp things up a little bit for you. And then you have uh, a bunch of other cool features uh, like enhancements, enable MH64 labs, which is like basically lets you mess around with, uh, I think there's like a track editor, track builder built into this. Anyway, it'll open up like a thing here and you can mess around with a whole bunch of things. Uh, I don't fully understand all this stuff. I, I mean, this could be something that I get into uh, as I, gain a better understanding of this port uh, I might mess around with this kind of stuff but you have a lot of things at your disposal it's pretty cool uh, I personally just like it for having the ability to play the game in a much higher quality and I'm sure many others will feel the same anyway uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of that you can uh, you have a free cam option I haven't used that either. There's also some cheats, cheats in here. Moon jump, disable wall collision. So if you feel like messing around with those kind of features, uh, you can probably find some fun in that. So be sure to check that out if you if that's something you want to do. And you have some stats displayers. You can do uh, you can pop out this menu, I believe. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, debug mode and uh, some other stuff that I personally don't fully understand <laughs> um but yeah this is a cool little pc port um also i should mention you have controller uh you can set up your controller i have a switch pro controller here pretty easy to do uh so you might find my button mapping to be a little weird but this is how i do it And then everything else should be good. You have a little analog display to test things. You know, dead zone. I was playing with 25% dead zone. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, there's some other options down here that you can explore as well if you wish. We'll go ahead and do a, a race quickly to uh, demonstrate. So in the menus, it is four by three. But when you're actually playing, it will. I'm just going to go to 100cc so I, I don't embarrass myself. Uh, there are some issues with the game. There are crashes and stuff. For example, I was playing the game with Wario. And uh, I came to find out upon completing a cup, the game will crash. Uh, the same issue persists with... Oops. Uh with donkey kong as well so and the heavy characters are kind of the meta in the game so i went with bowser so that i don't have the crash issue at the end of the uh cup so let's do a quick quick raise just so you can see what it looks like it looks pretty dang crisp Um, I don't think they replace the actual character textures because uh, they do kind of stand out as being a little jank in comparison to the rest of the environment uh, but otherwise game runs smoothly uh, I'm currently playing it at 180 frames uh, 1440p which is kind of a crazy thing to say about a game this old but nice that we can do these kind of things um once again if you found this video helpful 
and maybe you're going to consider uh, checking out this PC port, uh, be sure to leave a like, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. It's nice because we've got a new way to enjoy an old game and I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Either way, I'm going to call it a video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.